Hello everyone and welcome back to another Top Korean Movies by Genre video. As always, I'm your host Ian from Ian Talk, and today's video will be on the best Korean crime movies. Crime movies are something special in Korea. They can range from crime thrillers to crime action, crime dramas to crime noir, and even crime comedies. There are numerous great crime films out of Korea, so it'd be impossible to go through all of them. Thus, today, I've compiled a list of 15 of my favorite crime movies. Before getting into the video, I'd like to remind you that this list is ranked based on my personal recommendations, which means they are totally biased towards my opinions. Also, since we have a total of 15 films to go through, I won't be giving a detailed synopsis in this one, but a lot of these films can also be found in my best Korean thrillers, action, and gangster movies videos, so be sure to check those out for more detail. Okay then, that being said, let's get right into today's video on best Korean crime movies. Starting off the list, the number 15 film is the 2017 release movie, The King. The King was directed by Han Jae-rim, who also directed The Face Reader, The Show Must Go On, Purpose of Love, and the upcoming film, Emergency Declaration. The film is about a young man that becomes a powerful prosecutor and rises swiftly to power, but falls over even quicker. Starring in the film were Jo In-sung, Jung Woo-sung, Bae Seung-woo, Kim Ha-jung, and Lee Jun-yeol. Next, the number 14 film is a movie that was released back in 2018, Believer. Believer was directed by Lee Hae-young, who directed the mystery thriller The Silence and starred the likes of Jo Ji-nung, Lee Jun-yeol, the late Kim ju yeok Kim seung ryong Park Hae-jun, Seo Yeon-woo, Kang seung yeon Jung Ga-ram, Jin seo yeon and Lee Ju-young. The movie is about a police detective who's determined to catch the mysterious boss of Asia's biggest drug cartel, joining forces with the revenge-thirsty member of the gang. The number 13 movie goes to the most recently released movie on this list, Dark Figure of Crime. Directed by Kim Tae-gyun, who also directed Spring Snow, this crime mystery had a cast lineup of Kim yoon seok Ju Ji-yoon, and Jin seong gyu Based on true events, the film is about a fierce psychological confrontation between a detective and a killer who confessed to multiple unclosed cases of murder. Moving along, the number 12 movie is the 2010 film, The Yellow Sea. The Yellow Sea was directed by Naong Jin, who directed other amazing works such as The Wailing and The Chaser. The film had a great cast lineup of Ha Jung Woo, Kim Yoon Seok, and Jo Sung Ha, and in the movie, when a man's attempt to kill a target goes wrong, a series of violent events are triggered, which forces him to run for his life. The number 11 movie goes to the 2017 film, The Outlaws. This movie was directed by Kang Yoon Sung, who directed the film Long Live the King, and starred the actors Ma Dong Seok, Yoon Ge Sang, Jo Jae Yoon, Choi Gi Hwa, Park Ji Wan, and Jin Seong Gyu. I loved how this film had a great mixture of crime, action, thrill, and comedy, and the chemistry between the two leads, Ma Dong Seok and Yoon Ge Sang, was great. The film is about a detective's attempt to keep peace in the city, while two Chinese Korean gangs battle over turf in the neighborhood. Now into the top 10. The number 10 film is the 2009 released movie, Mother. Directed by the one and only Bong Joon-ho, who directed the record-breaking Parasite, as well as Okja, Snowpiercer, and The Host, Mother starred the likes of Kim Hye-ja, Won Bin, Jin Gu, and Yoon jae moon The vibes of this movie is really different from the other movies on this list, much like how Bong Joon-ho's works are generally, and is really hard to put into words. It's dark and grimy, but also very mysterious, and it's just a genre of its own. In the film, when a son is framed for the horrific murder of a girl, the mother of the son desperately searches for the real killer to clear her son's name. Next, the number 9 film is a movie that was released back in 2010, I Saw the Devil. I Saw the Devil is not only a great crime film, but also one of the best revenge movies as well. And this makes sense as the film was directed by Kim Ji-yoon, the master of revenge films. Director Kim is another legendary director out of Korean cinema who also directed the likes of The Age of Shadows, The Good, The Bad, The Weird, and A Tale of Two Sisters. The film has phenomenal performances by Lee byung and Choi Min-sik, and the movie revolves around a secret agent who loses his fiancée to a serial killer and him seeking revenge on the murderer through a series of catch and releases. And the number 8 movie goes to another film directed by Kim Ji-yoon, A Bittersweet Life. A Bittersweet Life is another excellent revenge film by director Kim, and this also starred Lee Byung-hun like the previous film. The movie also had great actors such as Kim Young-chul, Shin Mi-na, Hwang Jung-min, and Eric, and the combination of action, crime, and thrill of A Bittersweet Life makes this a must-watch movie. 
In the film, when a gang member doesn't follow through his boss's order of killing his cheating girlfriend, a violent feud between the mobster and the gang begins. Moving along, the number 7 movie is the 2015 film Inside Men. Inside Men was directed by Umino, who directed other productions such as The Spies, The Drug King, and The Man Standing Next. The film had an ensemble cast of Lee byung Han, Jo Seung-woo, Baek Yun-sik, Lee Kyung-young, Kim Hong Pa, and Pae Seung-woo, and there's also an extended director's cut of the movie titled Inside Men, the original. And this three-hour version of the movie is an even greater in-depth film of the shady business of politics, media, and conglomerates. In the movie, a former political henchman seeks revenge when he's dropped by a ruthless politician, while a determined investigator tries to find proof of a connection between the two of them. The number 6 movie goes to the 2008 film, The Chaser. This movie was directed by Na Hong Jin, who was mentioned earlier for directing The Yellow Sea, and had Kim Yun Seok and Ha Jung Woo as the main leads. The thrill and suspense this movie had was out of this world, and revolves around an ex-policeman that runs a prostitute business who starts to investigate and track down the disappearances of his girls. And now, the top 5. Starting off the top 5, the number 5 movie is the 2012 film, Nameless Gangster Rules of Time. Nameless Gangster Rules of Time was directed by Yoon Jong Bin, who also directed Beastie Boys, Kundo, Age of Rampant, and The Spy Gone North, and has one of the most notable lineups of Choi Min Sik, Ha Jung Woo, Cho Ji Nung, Ma Dong Seok, Kwak Do Won, and Kim Sung Yoon. This is a must watch if you love Korean noir films, and is about a corrupt customs official that discovers a hall of methamphetamine and teams up with a mob boss to become the most powerful crime organization in Korea. Moving on to the number 4 spot, the number 4 movie goes to another great crime action film which was released in 2010, The Man From Nowhere. The Man From Nowhere was directed by Lee Jung Bum, who is responsible for directing other movies such as Jo Piro The Dawning Rage and No Tears For The Dead. This is regarded as one of the best crime action movies by many, and Won Bin was an absolute badass in this. Other actors of the movie were Kim se Ron, Kim tae Eun, Kim Hee-won, Kim Sung-ho, and Lee jong pil the film is about a reserved pawn shop keeper with a violent past who takes on a drug and organ trafficking ring in hopes of saving a child that was kidnapped by the gang. Coming in at number 3 of my list of best Korean crime movies is the oldest film on this list, Friend. Friend was directed by Kwak Kim Tech, who directed other good movies such as Typhoon, Eye for an Eye, The Classified File, Battle of Changsari, and the sequel to Friend, Friend the Great Legacy. The movie featured the actors Yoo Song, Chang Dong Gun, So Tae and Chung Eun Tae, and is one of the classics when it comes to crime gangster films. Although the movie is 20 years old now, it's still a legendary must-watch film. The narrative is of four childhood friends that go their separate ways, where two go off to college, while the other two become rival gangsters. And now, just two movies left. Two of my favorite crime movies. First, the number two film was a movie released in 2013, New World. Directed by Park Hun Jung, who also directed other incredible films such as The Tiger, VIP, and The Wish Part 1, The Subversion, New World is not only one of my favorite Korean crime movies, but is one of my favorite Korean movies, period. Starring one of my favorite K-actors, Hwang Jung Min, who I recently made a Who Is episode on, as well as Lee Jung Jae, Choi Min Sik, Park Seung Woo, and Song Ji Yo, the movie is about an undercover officer that infiltrates a large crime organization and spends 8 years rising in the ranks. However, when the head of the organization is killed, the undercover cop is torn between his loyalties. And finally, the number 1 Korean crime movie. The number 1 spot goes to the 2003 film that's a classic when it comes to Korean films, Memories of Murder. Memories of Murder was directed by the legend Bong Joon-ho who was mentioned earlier for directing Mother, and this is a staple when it comes to crime films. The movie starred and had incredible performances by Song kang Ho and Kim Sang-kyung, and the thrill and suspense the movie has, as well as elements of mystery, makes this a number one film. Based on true events, Memories of Murder is about two detectives in a small town struggling to find the criminal that raped and murdered multiple young women. From the storyline, to the pacing, the musical scores, to the cinematography, everything about this film was excellent. And that's it for today's video on Best Korean Crime Movies. Some films that you believe should have made it on this list may not have been included, but please remember that this list was based on my personal recommendations. Nonetheless, I'd love to hear which movies you believe are deserving of the title Best Korean Crime Movies, as well as films on this list that you've seen and enjoyed, so please leave a comment or join in on the discussions on the Ian Talk Telegram group, linked in the descriptions. 
If you enjoyed this video and would like more similar content, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have requests for other genres or other types of content, please let me know by commenting down below. Once again, thank you to everyone that watched till the end, and I'll see you guys in the next one.